Hello, my name is Jose Carlos and I am from Mexico. I want to take part in youth speaker at the World Forestry Congress because I firmly believe that young people have much to contribute to the challenges our forests present. I love to hear and share the experiences that we have in our country to ensure the forest that Mexico needs for its development. I am currently working as director in the Business Development Department at Reforestamos Mexico. I have worked in many things ranging from forest technician, teaching how to plant trees, to designing strategies for the forestry sector to contribute to our country's development. There are three aspects I want to highlight so you can understand my project. First, forests are a source of wealth. I work with groups of people that live in forests, helping them build forest enterprises that provide income and well-being while at the same time increasing forest coverage. I have worked with producers of timber and non-timber products with groups of women, men and youngsters, with indigenous people and people from the city, with corporate, small and big enterprises. Second, I have focused especially on young people and the forestry sector. As a forest engineering student, I organized along with a group of friends the first National Forest Student Congress with the goal of bringing together students in the forest arena. Today, there are more than 30 forest-related educational institutions in Mexico. In 2010, I began to build a network of young people that work for the forests and jungles in 11 states in Mexico. They are working in rural communities where they have a significant impact. These are young leaders. Today, these people still work for their communities, now holding representative job positions and running their own business ventures. Number three. I am developing a program called Young Forest Entrepreneur. Now is the second edition, and this is a project that focuses on students from universities or all over the country. My job is to help them create forest enterprises. One of the greatest challenges I have faced is breaking paradigms in academia, professors and students. Winners from last edition became heroes in the region. The governor of the state received them. Communication media, radio, TV, newsletter talk about their achievement. More than 1,100 students from 16 institutions have participated in this program. In this second cycle, we have included more stakeholders from the private sector and the National Forest Commission, the main body behind the forest agenda in Mexico. These stakeholders have decided to support the forest through the young people. My next challenge is to bring this project to countries in Central and South America. Personally, I have worked to bring focus to young people so we can all see that they have many new and great ideas, innovative projects and a sustainable vision that helps increase the positive impact on our forests. The most important thing, other than tree planted, hectares concept, project support and networks created, is the stories of transformation of people that see the forest as an option to live a different life. I invite you to visit my Facebook page, JC El Forestal, my Twitter and my YouTube channel, which has some videos in English, where you can learn more about the actions that I do for the forest of my country. Five years ago, I went to the World Forestry Congress in Argentina. It was a unique experience and I am sure this will be better. I am looking forward to hearing stories and anecdotes that can serve as inspiration for more young people to get involved in the creation of a sustainable future. Thanks for watching.